It's been more than 35 years since humans last walked on the lunar surface. And now, with a vision for space exploration, our nation aims to return astronauts to the moon, continue on to Mars, and then keep going to points beyond. But unlike the way we did things during Project Apollo, this adventure will not end after a few excursions to a single destination. Instead, the nation will proceed ever outward in a step-by-step -step fashion, reaching each new milestone in an affordable way that can be sustained for years to come. Announced in 2004, the vision for space exploration begins by using the space shuttle to complete the assembly of the International Space Station. Work at this frontier outpost will allow the NASA and contractor workforce to continue to gain experience solving the problems of spaceflight while also meeting commitments to our international partners. Shuttle missions will continue through 2010 when the nation's first reusable space transportation system will be retired. Replacing the shuttle will be the Crew Exploration Vehicle, or CEV. The CEV will look much like Apollo's command service module, only it will be large enough to carry four to six astronauts and be equipped with advanced technology and systems. The CEV will be designed to carry astronauts into and out of low Earth orbit, as well as make trips to the moon and back. First flight of the CEV will come as soon as possible after the shuttle is retired. It will be launched atop a new two-stage rocket called the Crew Launch Vehicle, or CLV. The first stage of the CLV will be a modified Space Shuttle Solid Rocket Booster, while the second stage will be based on modern rocket technology used by the Air Force and the commercial launch industry. Once the CEV and its CLV booster are operational, attention will turn towards building a larger rocket, capable of launching very large and heavy payloads into Earth orbit. Eventually, the heavy lift rocket will be used to assemble components of a lunar landing spacecraft in Earth orbit and send it on its way to the moon with a CEV dock to carry the crew. The first landing on the moon using the new spacecraft is planned for no earlier than 2018. In the years to follow, a lunar base will be built up to give us experience with the new hardware and operations necessary for making extended stays on Mars. With this new transportation system in place, scientists will be able to continue studying our solar system and the universe, perhaps in part by building a new radio telescope on the far side of the moon. In the meantime, unmanned robot probes and rovers will continue to be sent to Mars and the other planets and their moons to learn more about what's out there and set the stage for future human expeditions. With the vision for space exploration, there's always one more horizon to reach for.